Whether from a flood, earthquake, tornado, hurricane, or some other disaster, survivors and the homeless need a safe temporary shelter to ease their recovery as help is administered. These 15 innovative solutions could provide a fast and easy way to help keep those suffering alive and safe. Number 15. With long-term housing for refugees in mind, Cutwork designers have come up with a concrete shelter that can be built quickly by hand in one day with no heavy equipment. The shelter combines a bendable metallic tube system and a composite rollable concrete material created just by adding water. The shelter's feature solar panels, a concrete floor, are fully weatherproof and built to last for 30 years. Number 14. The UK-based research and development company Extremis Technology designs low-cost folding shelters. Their shelters are shipped folded flat and can be erected in about 20 minutes. Their Hush 2 model was tested to withstand Category 5 hurricane-force winds. It is about 46 square feet and can be folded into a storm-safe mode for hurricane winds. They may be refolded, moved, and deployed, and they don't need a foundation. Number 13. Y2 Architects of Singapore have developed a flat pack disaster shelter solution for the Asian Pacific region. The living shelter, as they call it, is an affordable, collapsible unit that's easy to transport and can be assembled without tools. It's designed specifically for the climate, geography, and cultural habits of Southeast Asia. It offers basic needs such as electricity, water, and ventilation. Number 12. The worldwide architectural firm Woods Bago has designed three uniquely different emergency transitional shelters. Looking similar to a modern camping tent, their end fold employs a structure of folded planes. The skin of the tent becomes a structure with an expandable lattice that can be folded down as a flat pack for a quick distribution to needy areas. They say there is no right way to assemble their folded home, as its design is flexible in its final construction. The folded home allows the structure to be individually tailored to the needs of the occupant. Several of the folded shelters can be organized to handle family groups and communities. The parashelter is a parachute that can be delivered to rugged areas inaccessible by other means. It's dropped as a container bag. The chute becomes the exterior membrane and the bag becomes the base. It's designed for ease of construction and high visibility so that it can be located in deserted areas after a disaster. Number 11. These shelters look like Alaskan igloos. These dome homes are placed anywhere there is a need for instant shelter. Built in less than a day and hauled in by pickup truck, they will give a durable, comfortable living space for up to five people in virtually any climate. Plus, they can be dismantled and rebuilt at another location. Number 10. This company's tiny capsules could be the ultimate way to survive almost any natural disaster. The survival capsule is patented as a personal safety system, designed as a sphere to protect against tsunami events, tornadoes, hurricanes, and earthquakes. 
The Washington State Company sells capsules to hold from two to 10 persons strapped in to ride out storms. It has storage for food and water. The smallest capsule is about four and a half feet in diameter with reinforced aircraft aluminum and a ceramic blanket to keep the heat of fire out. It also features a GPS beacon. Number nine. Up now is another take on a survivor shelter for on the water. Istanbul-based architecture firm So has designed a floating shelter that folds. It is made of steel and has two parts, a floating pontoon base and an upper A-frame that can fold flat for transport. Interior fixtures and furniture are attached to the wall and easily unfolded. The two-door shelter has a floor space of 226 square feet. Number 8 One square meter house only occupies one square meter, but it is remarkably adaptable. This tiny shelter on wheels can be laid down flat for sleeping or set upright to act as a miniature mobile shop or meeting place. The idea began as an experiment and as a way to get some personal space in crowded urban areas. Its features are sparse with only a wooden shelf desk, a doorway, and a window. Number seven. A foam coffee cup inspired this shelter idea. It is sturdy, stackable, and insulated, and is easily moved and set up to deliver life-saving living space. The shelter can house four persons. Built in Austin, Texas, the stackable units can be transported on trailers and set up by four people in minutes. The units can be deployed immediately after a major disaster. They can also be used for recreational purposes or offices. Number six. Nestled on the border between Turkey and Greece is a simple prefabricated cabin aptly named Cabin on the Border. Used as an emergency shelter, the boxy cabin has all the necessary amenities. It is made with plywood walls and poly windows with opening walls and window sections. It was created by So Architects and is 193 square feet. A solar panel supplies power and a wood stove heat. It has two loft bedrooms, a toilet, and a kitchen. Number five. From Spain comes an industrial style emergency shelter design allowing units to connect. The Surrey, or Shelter Units for Rapid Installation, is a project that started as an easy to transport and assemble emergency shelter and has developed into a low cost modular system. The accordion like units have rooftop water collection and solar panels. Additionally, all Surrey shelters are made with recyclable or biodegradable materials and have a 10 year life. They are manufactured by the Urbana Building Exterior Renovation Company in Spain. Number four. Conrad Gargett Riddle designers from Australia are showing their unique emergency shelters that assemble quickly for victims of disasters. This so-called flat pack cube shelter comes in a parts kit 
that can be combined without the need for tools and sits above the ground. The walls are a skin of interlocking plywood and plastic shingles that can be arranged according to the occupant's individual needs. Number three. Taking a cue from nomadic tribe shelters is the Weaving Home, designed by Jordanian-Canadian designer Abir Sikali. He has designed shelters that are easy to erect and scale into various functions. They are made with new methods of assembly of the material, with expanding folding envelopes with a central axis of hollow plastic tubing. Segments can be left open for ventilation and are adaptable to various climates. Number two. Sitting somewhere between a temporary house and a tent is the fold flat shelter. The tiny house is made of light composite panels and is adjustable and easily assembled or disassembled. Shipped flat, two people can fold the panels and set up the shelter in five hours. This tent-like shelter, the Nido Portable Shelter, was designed primarily with the homeless in mind, but can be expanded to house a family with add-on modules. The entire shelter can be compressed and wrapped into a compact, easily carried pack. Designers of this accordion-shaped temporary first response shelter say it was built with disaster relief in mind. The Recover Shelter houses a family of four for a month. One person can set it up in minutes and it collapses down just as fast. It is made of 100% polypropylene, recyclable, and the ridges collect drinking water. The instant housing designs by Winfried Baumann are small mobile homes designed for emergency assistance to the homeless and victims of disasters. The instant housing shelter has a retractable padded bed, first aid kit, and the necessities for living in a disaster struck area. Number one. Coming in at number one is a uniquely beautiful emergency shelter that was designed by Australian-based designers Lava. Its exterior geometric shape can be stacked with other modules, generating an interconnected village of shelters. The prototype shelter, made of CNC machine plywood cut to exact shapes and measurements, can comfortably house two adults and a child. It has room for sleeping, reading, or eating, and is lit by solar or battery LED. Number two. 